Hello, I'm Carolyn. I'm from Michigan, and I have common variable immune deficiency disease, also known as CVID. It is a chronic illness. It is basically a disease where you do not produce antibodies, and it's pretty much basically the simplest way that I have of explaining it. It is a disease that you are not able to fight off infections, bacteria, or viral. Immunoglobin therapy is replacing the antibodies that a person has um, that we're not able to produce. It's also known as IgG therapy, and we take that either through um, intravenously, which is usually once a month, or subcutaneously, which I take, which is weekly. And like I mentioned, that replaces our antibodies to help us stay healthy. It is a lifelong treatment. There is no cure for our disease. It's a chronic condition. There is no cure. And immunoglobin, or IgG, is also, we tend to call it liquid gold. It's very costly. Prior to taking immunoglobin therapy, or IgG, I was on steroids for numerous years, and I was also on antibiotics daily um, for several, several years. And even with the combination of the two many times I was in the hospital, I was in and out of the hospital. After I began with my IgG replacement, or my immunoglobin therapy, I saw a vast improvement. I I was much healthier. I was able to go off of my antibiotics for the first time in numerous years. And I'm most grateful for that because I have been on antibiotics for close to 10 plus years and steroids. So I'm living a much healthier life. Last year, my immunoglobin therapy was covered at 100%. That's no longer the case. This year, what happened, I found out that although my premiums were lower, there's now coinsurance, there's different tier levels for medication. Since I take my subcutaneous weekly in um, May, I made two payments, which were close to $3,000, which I find astronomical. I have a higher time wrapping my head around that anyone in this country would have to pay for medication that is life or death. We need to take this medication. It's not that we take it by choice or that it just makes us feel better. There's, it keeps us alive and there's not a generic for it. I've heard stories of people that have actually sacrificed um, either medication. I have heard stories of people that have sacrificed to go without food. There are so many other groups that cannot afford their medications or they're making choices like to, well, we're going to go without some food this week. Are we going to pay our electric bills? Things that are wrong. There should not be in this country. There's very few assistance programs. They're far and few between. Currently, there's a pending bill in Congress, and with hopes and anticipation, the bill, which is a Patient Access Treatment Act, H.R. 460, it has been pending since 2013. We have hopes that this will be approved. What this act would do is take the medications that are currently in Tier 4, such as IgG and the very costly uh, medications that do not have generics, such as IgG, and put a cap on them. HR 460, the bill, would not only help just us, it would help many others in groups, such as those with cancer, MS, lupus. What patients and supporters can do to advocate for HR 460 bill to pass and push this through in Congress. So they can write to 
their senators and to Congress. And it would be in hope that they do so. As I always say, it only takes one person to make a difference. And each person's voice does count.